Hello everybody, this is uh, Plum Darkness here, and here with a tutorial video of how to level up relatively fast in I Am Setsuna without the use of food items. This will give you 5,000 experience per battle, and you can finish the battle within 20 seconds or so, give or take walking out and walking back in. It's about 30 seconds all together. So you, you can make about 10,000 experience per minute. Which of course multiply that by 60. Which is how many per hour. You have 10,000 times 60. Which gives you a lot. <laughs> Let's just say that. 600,000 experience per hour. Which is pretty nifty. You're going to need uh, the airship. Which you're going to have to get to your big pretty huge portion of the game um, my characters I started doing this level of grinding when I was like 30 32 as you can see now that I am in deer uh, the deer and Sasuna are all 40s now so I've gone almost 10 levels up also during this process any level grinding in this game also has the potential of giving you uh, um, items monster drops which thus will also increase your uh, amount of money you get in this game, which is <coughs> um, you know gold or gill, whatever they call it. So, anyways, I'm starting from uh, Roysburg, uh, Roysburg, which is the uh, town of which you get your character uh, Julianne. Go into your airship, and I'm just floating over here to. Uh, this side of the Floyberg, uh, Floyberg, uh waters. Again, you can time this if you want. And the first set of enemies, the penguins, fight them. Make sure you get so they don't see you. And I have, again, I have Sasuna, I have uh, and Deer, and Deer. And I have those because they have the ability Blow Beat. Um, you can do anything that does an aerial attack, honestly, but Blow Beat seems to be pretty powerful. And then, uh, so I'm going to use Blow Beat. Add a little momentum to it. Uh, sometimes it'll kill in all one hit, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, uh, so I'm going to also use Luminaire. Use momentum as well. It won't probably kill it. Um... It'll probably hit me. If I'm lucky, I can kill them all in one hit. Sometimes it doesn't happen. And then usually a hit or two will finish them off. There you go. 5,000 experience. Go ahead and heal up. Uh, I don't have cure equipped on it. I only have cure two. I probably should equip cure. But anyways. Again, that was like 20 seconds. I step out. By the way, there's also an item here that spawns every so often. It's a cracked bronze mirror. Go back inside. And repeat. Oops. Again, I said every 20 seconds, but it could be more than that, honestly, because uh, you want to you wanna make sure you hit the penguins when they're not looking. You, you want to have a full charge, ATB ch charge in the beginning, which I did in this case, but that's fine. Uh, sometimes it actually works out better this way. See, I already killed almost all of them. Let's see, one's got 14 health, and one's got 230 some health. So he will be dead in like two hits. Okay, he goes after Endear a lot. One hit, he's dead. Okay. Again, Endear leveled up. Um, you can level up more often, obviously, if you're a lower level than 42. Um, just because I started, now I'm 41, 42 with these characters. Uh, they're not, they won't level up as fast. So anyways, uh, after doing this a bunch of times, you know, as much as you can, I do it until I start running, uh, until I get the maximum amount of items that I, monster drops that I get from those monsters. Then I float all the way back to uh, Royberg. Uh, go to Royberg. And just go to the uh, magicite 
or magistrate, whatever they call that, the merchant that you're allowed to sir, uh, sell your items to. Just go to him. Sell. I won't have as much to sell. I used to do as more than that. I'm just showing you, just for example. So, anyways, and then repeat. It's also a good way too to buy all the talismans in the game, or at least the majority of the talismans in the game. As you get more money, you can buy all the talismans, which is uh, you can buy it from this guy here. It's also an item uh, merchant inside the pub right there. That's pretty much it though. You can spend hours doing this if you want to, whether it's uh, level up or uh, getting items. I wouldn't say hours, honestly, because eventually I think you would get to like level 45. I would, I would suspect level 45 or level 50. Uh, level up will become more scarce, so I would, you know, move on to like tougher enemies. Um, again, this is the Floberg Waters. Good place to start. Uh, there are obviously tougher enemies in this game, but this is a pretty good set of enemies to fight and get a good, good experience from, and also good uh, gold from or gill. Thanks for uh, watching, and hope you find uh, this helpful. And uh, hopefully, I'll have some more videos on, you know, leveling up for uh, higher levels and other techniques. Cool. Thank you very much.